hello and welcome to another SQL tutorial in this video we will learn about SQL syntax a SQL statement is a combination of SQL command plus additional components of SQL code written in a predefined format a SQL syntax describes the format as well as rules that must be followed in order to write a statement a SQL statement that can be successfully executed by relational database management system. In books, you'll see a syntax written as a combination of SQL command with a number of brackets of different types that enclose additional elements of SQL code plus a number of spaces as well as number of commas and maybe a semicolon. All these have certain meanings and are important for you to know to become an expert this was the statement SQL statement that we used to create our first table try to omit one comma or one bracket or try to put an extra comma or an extra bracket and your relational database management system will not create the object called phone will not create the table called phone a syntax to create a table might look like this something like this in your books how many components of this syntax are supported by your relational database management system is a different story so let's try to understand all these first of all notice that keywords are written in capitals in uppercase and these keywords are used to generate a SQL statement these square brackets enclose optional components anything within these square brackets is optional you don't have to use any of these additional components for example here so we have used create create is here and we have ignored any of these optional components and then we have used table so create table and then these angle brackets are used to represent a placeholder a placeholder that would be replaced by an identifier so in this case we have replaced this part of the syntax by an object name by a table name called phone now these curly brackets simply group elements together now the vertical bar this vertical bar represents or the word or so if you do decide to use these optional components you can either use global or local one of these two in this case now after that you have a bracket an open bracket and then you have a column name and there's a space and after that space you have data type and then another bracket open that encloses length of the data type notice there is no space in here and then there is another space and then again in the square brackets and an optional component constraint so you can choose to create choose to define a constraint here if you want to if you need to and then there's a comma it means that the definition of a column is complete you have described the name of a column data type of a of the column of this column and the length of the data type and then optionally you have a constraint that you can choose not to use or not to apply comma is a separator it means that you want to define another column so you have created another column here same format space data type and length and then if you want to you can choose to create choose to apply another constraint another comma and three dots means that you can follow the same pattern as many times as you want so you may create a number of columns after comma as many columns as you want and then we're closing this bracket that we opened here and this semicolon is a terminator it is only required only for a few applications it means that you're you're finishing the statement you're terminating a statement if you're using some of the graphic user interfaces graphic tools such as SQL uh, developer or Microsoft management studio you don't have to use these if you're using SQL plus or SQL star plus you have to use a semicolon as a terminator so this was the syntax that 
you will probably see in books to create a table now syntax you may see a syntax with all 16 of SQL commands that we learned about in one of our last videos but the rules to understand the syntax would remain the same thank you very much